Do you like to travel? When was the last time you left all your worries behind and went on new adventures? And most importantly, would you take a risk of a long trip across our vast country? Our presenters, Anton Ducravet and Jules Rachmet, have ventured to take this step. The speedometers of their cars are showing numbers nearing 8,000 kilometers. In the last episode of our show, Anton went to Altai, plunged into the history of the region, met some interesting people, took a rest at the local guest house and reached the Buktima Reservoir. Thank you. Jules is still in western Kazakhstan. She was lucky to visit the valley of the fabulous castles called Ayrakti Shamana. Today's episode promises to be even more intense. Anton will take you to the Katon Karagai National Park, where he will meet some beekeepers and try Altai honey. And if he is lucky with the weather, he will go fishing to Lake Yazeboya. Together with Jules, we will visit the edge of the Ustul Plateau. Are you ready for some excitement? Then stay with us. Anton is discovering some of the most interesting tourist destinations in eastern Kazakhstan with its unique and rich nature. The region features 24 nature reserves. The total area is 6% of the entire territory of the region. One of the most beautiful and picturesque local reserves is Katon Karagai. One episode of our show is not enough to show the rapid waterfalls turbulent rivers, healing springs, rare herbs, rich fauna and flora of the National Park. Now we have 13 eco-touristic routes in the National Park. We are working on developing them. Our main tourist destination is Lake Yazivoya, Mount Beluka and Kokol Waterfall. We improve the tourist infrastructure every year. Katon Karagai is one of the largest nature reserves in the country. Its area is 640,000 hectares. It was founded in 2001. Anton decided to walk around in the park for a bit and enjoy the beauty of nature. Meanwhile, we are moving to the very edge of the Ustuot Plateau. Tuzbair is a truly magnificent creation of nature. Steep cliffs and cascades of clay limestone. At the foot of the hills lies a massive salt marsh called Sor by the local people. Tuzbair is located a few kilometers off the motorway in the district of Manat in Mangistau region. Only two mountains are visible from the road. And most tourists just do not pay any attention to them. But if you drive up closer, an unbelievable panorama of the archipelago of the remaining mountains, ridges and cliffs of the ancient ocean will open in front of you. Interestingly, the landscape depends on the time of the day and weather. For example, on a sunny day, the mountains look as if they are covered with a dazzling snow-white carpet woven from beads. In the afternoon, it is seen in creamy shades and at sunset, a rich purple color dominates the surface. There is a perfect combination of colors here. White salt, limestone, white clouds, blue sky and yellow-brown soil emphasizes the whiteness of the salt. It is amazing how different the nature of Western and Eastern Kazakhstan is. A lifeless but fascinating desert in Mangistau region in the west and picturesque Altai in the east. Such a great contrast. Let's go back and see what our second film crew is doing in eastern Kazakhstan. Katon Karagai National Park is famous for its rich nature. The place is especially famous for the honey produced here, known as the Altai honey. The nature reserve is home to many animals, including rare red-listed animals like snow leopard, red wolf, mountain goat, black stork and valuable taimen. Rare animals can be found here. People come here to photo hunt. 
We have been setting up photo traps for the past five years, because here we have the red-listed snow leopard. We counted 12 of them in the Tekeli mountains. Our latest photographs are two years old. So we didn't see the animals for some time, and we thought they completely disappeared. And now we have developed a more scientific approach to photo hunt them. Photo traps help count the number of the animals. According to the latest data, their number is growing from year to year. At present, there are 336 musk deer, 366 brown bears inhabiting the reserve. What are some of the most interesting and popular places here? Mount Beluka, Kungetas, which academician Rurik had discovered, are very popular. At least 1,117 people visited the park last year. Do you believe that caves near Beluka can lead to Tibet? It's a legend, but I cannot say how true it is. Thank you very much. I hope tourism will develop here. I recommend everyone to visit the National Park. Be sure to come, Anton. Have you ever been on an uncharted planet? No? Did you know that you have such an amazing opportunity here in the Ustur Plateau? You look everywhere in the local landscapes, look like a scene from a fantasy film. Tourists come here in search of a shark tooth. You may ask why would there be a shark tooth in the staff? Many millions of years ago, in the Cenozoic era, there was a world ocean here. Let's go and see if we can find anything. There is a natural arch at the very base of the cliff. Getting there is not so easy. Only experienced drivers can get safely to the Salt Marsh. A few meters away, there is a giant sphinx, the god of Tuzbayir. Every day, he proudly examines his possessions and enjoys the beauty of nature. Don't forget about our photo contest. You can repeat one of our photos. To do this, you need to come to Tuzbayir, find the Sphinx, and take a picture next to it. Then post the photo on the Instagram with the hashtag across the Kazakh land. You can win a nice gift from our channel. Are you ready to continue our journey? Let's go! Several years ago, there was a big expedition in these places. Paleontologists found a tooth the size of a human palm. Studies have shown that these are the remains of an ancient sea creature that lived in the ocean of Tethys. And now we are on one of the old hinged bridges over the Buktema River. The bridge is not very wide, so if you want to cross it by car, keep in mind that only cars can drive here. Such bridges used to be used everywhere, now of course have become unusable. They require great care and investment. As you can see here, the steel rope, and immediately it becomes clear why it is called a hinged, because it is a little loose. I'll go to the other side. And Anton is heading to an Altai apiary. They supply 70% of Kazakhstani honey to the international market. The fame of the sweet Altai honey spread throughout Eurasia three centuries ago. Travelers noted that in the Altai territory, rivers flow with milk and honey, only managed to scoop. In the 19th century, local beekeepers sent carts with aromatic honey to the Russian imperial port. Festivals and masterclasses in beekeeping were held along rivers of Yertis all along to the city of Omsk. To this day in eastern Kazakhstan, no village, honey paradise. Well, let's go to get acquainted with the beekeepers. In the meantime, we will tell you about another attraction of Tuzbayir, Arana. These are stone hunting pens for steppe saigas. Locals say that Arana was used in the 1930s. Well, today, they are the historical monument of the Ustul Plateau, which attract the adventurers. I'm a tourist, a geologist, 
I'm a tourist, a traveler, a geologist. I travel a lot around the world, but I can tell you for sure that Kazakhstan has some of the most beautiful, untouched and unknown places. I recommend everyone to visit our picturesque Kazakhstan. Jordes still has a lost hope to find some ancient souvenirs. And while she continues her search, Anton is already learning about the craft of beekeeping. In these places, there are 225 kinds of honey plants. This is due to the unique natural features. Each village has its own microclimate. For example, in summer, local beekeepers harvest a new crop of bee treats every week in the endless meadows stretching long Buktema. But the grass bloom much faster in the mountainous areas, and the local honey is mainly waxy, dark and with coniferous flavor. Many buyers have a question, what kind of honey is the best? There is only one answer to that. It all depends on your preferences. In the Altai apiary, it looks as though the beekeepers have the most wonderful workplace, surrounded by the flowers everywhere, with the fresh air and aroma of honey, a river rustling below, and bees buzzing around. Altai is known not only for its magnificent nature, but also for the wisdom of the local people. The famous Altai honey, with its healing and medicinal qualities, is not the only thing that you can buy at the local apiary. There is a whole layer of medicine called energy therapy or bioresonance therapy. You can literally sleep in the hives. It gives a full relaxation and has a medical effect. Sleeping near the hives with bees, how cool is that? Of course, not everyone will dare to do this. Many are afraid of bee stings. However, the local beekeepers say the procedure is safe. Will Anton be able to overcome his fear? While Anton is thinking, let's see how things are going with the other film crew. See, I found a shark tooth. I got lucky. Yes, indeed, such a valuable find. And now we can move further, and our next destination is the Bojira Tract. It is located in the western part of the Ustu Plateau. Once upon a time, there was an ancient canyon here. The height of the hill is 287 meters. The age of these mountains and rocks is millions of years old. Tourists come here from all over Kazakhstan and neighboring countries. And this is not surprising, just look around. It looks as though we are in a science fiction film on some planet Krypton. These two mountains are called Ustyod Canines. Scientists say that the mountain was split in two because of winds and the sun. The slopes crumbled for many centuries and acquired these fancy shapes. Boz Jira, the majestic creation of the Ustyod Plateau. At this point, the plateau abruptly ends with a cascade of clay limestone steps. This natural formation is called a chink. The nature has created an unearthly landscape in white chalk colors. It is not uncommon that expeditions are conducted here, and scientists find nuggets of silicon which the ancient people used to make arrowheads with. If you look closely, you can see the petrified shells or the remains of fish of the Mesozoic era. I feel a pleasant fatigue and we are at the peak of Bozjira. If you decide to come here and conquer this peak, make sure to bring comfortable shoes. The places here are untouched, difficult to access, and there are not many tourist paths and routes. Mangishnak Peninsula is a great place to visit for dreamers and adventurers. Just remember that you need a good car to get here. And do not rush, moving along the track. There are scores that hinder the passage. The Altai Mountains are great for hikers. Anton is visiting the Klima family. Vera Pavlovna is the hostess of the place. This is not just an apiary, but rather an art residence. It's amazing how Vera Pavlovna managed to create a fabulous atmosphere in the heart of the Altai Mountains. Artists from Slovakia, Russia and Belarus helped her do this. Every art object is unique in its own way and has its own history. 
вот это вот у нас гостевой дом. гостевой дом. Да. Расскажите, что это за гостевой дом? Это гостевой дом. Is this a guest house? Here we receive the guests. We have two bedrooms, a large hall for relaxation. It is very spacious. Here is the bedroom. This is a handmade bed. This is such an interesting bedside table. We try to make sure that everything here is eco-friendly. Tourists drop in here not only for health procedures, but also just to rest after a long journey, to have tea in a pleasant company. The doors of Vera Pavlovna's house are open to all, but Anton still cannot decide on whether he should try the beehive therapy. And for starters, I decided to learn more about it. Now I will show you. Here there are four bee families. Here, one, two, three and four. To make sure that they really are there, I'll open the door now. Here they are leaving their hives. Hello bees. I'll close it, not to bother them. There are slits here. They let the warm air out from the beehive. It keeps you warm once you lie here. To get a healing effect, you need only a few hours to sleep on the hive. Rest on beehives has a positive effect on the nervous and cardiovascular system, and the micro vibrations created by bees form a powerful bioenergy. So also the cheerfulness charge is provided for the whole week. You simply feel such invisible vibrations. A rumble of a bee colony. They just quietly put you to sleep. This is the laziest method of recovery. You simply sleep and the treatment goes on. The science has shown that staying in the apiary and observation of the life of bees has a positive effect on the people's mental health. That is probably why beekeepers, according to statistics, are considered one of the most stress-resistant people. And now let's go and see our second film crew led by Jules They are on the Bojira track now. This is a popular place not only for tourists. Filming of commercials and photo shoots are organized here often. The tract occupies a huge area. This place is still little known and difficult to access for tourists. The most famous point to visit is the foot of the canines. You can set up tents and have a base there and take walks to different parts of the valley. If you ever want to visit the Bojra tract, here are some tips to take into account. It's not easy to get here, so it's best to hire a guide. As for the weather, the climate is harsh and unpredictable. Do not forget to bring warm clothes with you. Even in summer, it can be very cold here at night. The best time to travel is of course summer. In the rainy season, all the roads are washed off. Yet it is worth coming here. Believe us, you will remember the trip to the Ustu Plateau for a long time. So go ahead and discover the unknown Kazakhstan. The next morning, our first film crew met on the shore of Lake Yazivoya. A stunning view of Mount Biluka, the queen of Altai, opens from here. In good clear weather, its image is reflected in the lake. The weather here is capricious, it rains frequently and there is thick fog. The stunning panorama attracts the tourists, photographers, artists from everywhere. Life here is quite simple, but people come here all year round. You can find all kinds of recreation on the shore of Lake Yazivoya. 
someone will choose to be closer to nature, to spend the night in a tent under these pines. And someone will choose an overnight stay in these beautiful houses, with a wonderful hot tea and hot bath. Anton decided to walk to the lake. The water is pretty cool, but in good summer weather you can swim here. Today we're not lucky, it's drizzling and it's cool. That is why before coming here, be sure to take rubber boots with you. I will keep you safe during walks like this, so be careful. Oh, here is the natural carpet, the one everyone talks about. I have interesting sensations because the earth springs under your feet and water arises. I feel like I'm walking on the water. And of course, the surface is fragile. I'm fine. I'm okay. And our journey continues. And right now, we're exploring Western Kazakhstan again. Dear viewers, do not forget about our photo contest. Come to Bozhira and take a photograph next to this cliff and put it on the Instagram with the hashtag across the Kazakh land. You may win a pleasant gift from our channel. Are you ready? Go! A few hundred meters from there is the famous Mount Shakala. The height of the slope is 200 meters. You can approach the mountain, but there is no way to reach the top. Old timers say that in the antiquity, the top could be reached using a hidden manhole. Today it is no longer available. There are also legends among the people that the caves are home to the spirits of the dead who had once lived here. So no one dares to climb to the top of the mountain. Mount Shekala in Torej Gorge are considered to be one of the best tourist places of our vast country. If people in western Kazakhstan strive to see peculiar landscapes, the majority of tourists in eastern Kazakhstan come here just to admire Mount Beluka. This is the highest point of the Altai Mountains. You can reach the peak only by a helicopter, on horses or on foot. Anton has been strolling around the lake for an hour, hoping to see at least the edge of the snow-capped peak, and door attempts are futile. So for now, he will have to be content with only riding the catamaran. I'm riding a catamaran. The lake is 3 kilometers long, 700 meters wide, 7 to 8 meters deep. But there are some pits that reach 30 meters, so be careful not to fall. The famous Eid lives here, hence the name of the lake. Around the lake, a huge number of mosquitoes. They are biting us through our thick clothes. The lake is famous for good fishing. This is the only body of water in the region where ride is fun. By the way, if you are an avid fisherman, then you should get a fishing license in advance. You can get one of the offers of the National Park. Kanton Karagai National Park and Lake Yazivoya greeted us with its pristine nature, crystal clear air and beautiful views. Unfortunately, Mount Beluka is hidden from the view now. Well, our journey continues. I remind you that you can follow us with the help of the hashtag across the Kazakh land. Rachman Springs are waiting for us. We will go to warm ourselves and escape from the mosquitoes. Today we have discovered many new and interesting things. The moonlight landscapes of Mangus Star will long be remembered for their beauty and the Altai territory has charged us with its pure cosmic energy. This is all for today, but our journey continues. See you very soon.